History was made on September 23, 1992, when Tampa Bay Lightning goalie Manon Rayom became the first woman to play in a major professional sports league. She spent 20 minutes in net, stopping seven out of the nine shots that came her way. I know I can skate and I can stop some puck. It's why I decided to come here. I don't do this for our the first woman. I do this because I love hockey and I want to go higher. And if I don't come here to try, I don't know what I can do. Manon signed a three-year contract with Tampa Bay, and a year later, after playing two games with the Lightning-affiliated Atlanta Knights, Rayon was sent a few hours north to play for the Knoxville Cherokees. It is our pleasure to welcome to Knoxville and to the Knoxville Cherokees, Manon Rayom. Manon was immediately taken aback by the southern hospitality that she found in the scruffy city. The people are nice. I just came here two days and uh, I came to the gym and, uh, you know, everybody talked to you and uh, you don't know who I am and they talked to me and it's why I feel like the people are nice here and uh, it's a nice, to uh, nice town and the weather is nice too. <laughs> At only 21 years old, Rayon was already a star. She was the national spokesperson for the starter clothing line as well as McDonald's and Toyota in Canada. Bonjour, je suis très heureuse d'être ici. très bien accueillie. Don't worry, I speak English too. I can answer the question in English. Barraged by cameras and journalists since her debut, Rayom tried not to let the media circus surrounding her life affect her game. It's a lot of pressure, but I have to deal with that now. That's why I, I try to forget that when I am on the ice. I try to forget all the media around. I try to forget all the people and just concentrate on my game and. Uh, you know, I'm going to see what happened this year. <laughs> After a disappointing season of only 19 wins, the Cherokees hoped Rayom would not only boost their number of victories, but their dwindling attendance as well. However, head coach Barry Smith made it clear that Menon would have to earn her spot between the pipes. Um, I'm willing to work with her in practices and in the game conditions to try to improve her, just like I am with any of the contract players that come down. So um, I'm not going to treat her any differently, and I don't think she wants to be treated any differently. With only two weeks to go before the start of the season, it was time to get down to business and Rayom was feeling right at home with her new team. The guys are great and, uh, you know, uh, I have no problem with the guys. They talk to me and uh, they accept me really well and it's, like, it's fun. I really like the team here. On November 6, 1993, Rayon made her debut starting the game against the Johnstown Chiefs. The Knoxville Cherokees set their all-time attendance record with a sold-out crowd of 4,805 fans and Manon received a standing ovation when she took the ice. She stopped 32 of 38 shots and helped the Keys snap a three-game losing streak with a 9-6 victory. Rayon made her second start for Knoxville on November 24th against the Huntington Blizzard. She had another stellar game, stopping 25 shots and almost recording a shutout in the Cherokees' 8-1 victory. By February, Manon had played four games for Knoxville, winning or tying every one. But on her 22nd birthday, she was gifted with a new team. Tampa Bay management felt her talent could be used elsewhere and transferred her to their other Knights franchise in Nashville. The move was bittersweet. It's what I find hard, you know, to leave here because uh, the people here are nice. Uh, and the people with who I live and uh, the, the city, everybody here was nice with me. It's why it's, it's going to be very hard for me the rest of the year, it's, you know, to, to leave uh, here because I really like here. As fate would have it, Manon's first game in a Nashville uniform was against the Cherokees. She must not have missed Knoxville too much as she made 39 saves en route to a 6-5 overtime victory against her former team.